<coughs> um, Sandra, there is something that has been bothering me for quite some time now, but I don't know how to tell you. It flashes back to the memory of your mother every now and then. Sandra, I'm confused. Confused. What is his father? I don't know how to tell you. Because you might not just cooperate with me. No, that's not true. As far as it pleases you, I'll do anything. I'm not happy seeing you so sad. When your mother was alive, we used to work together in business. But now she is no more. I'm all alone. I have no partner. So I feel that uh, now that you've grown enough, you can join me in the profession because the business is better in twos. Um, that's a good idea. But you know, I inform you about your business. You go out in the morning and come back in the evening, and you come back with either money or food stuff, and all I do is just to do the cooking. Um, you never told me you needed help. What's your business like, father? Uh, Sandra, before I let you in, you must promise to keep your mouth shut. All right. Is it a bad business? Hmm. You see, it's like I'm a deep. You know what a deep means? No. A deep is someone who dips his hand into people's pockets and pick whatever is available inside. What? Sting? Daddy a thief? I thought you were a retired soldier. And you want me to join you? <laughs> that would be possible. I'll be caught in no time. Look, Sandra. Dad has made it possible for me to take you to the best school in town. If you accept to be my partner like your mother, I will teach you the tricks in less than 24 hours. Sandra, try and understand my baby. I'm smiling too, baby. I know you do it. Please tell me. I think I have to go through this thing. Uh, no, Dad, I think I've had enough for today. Mm, that's right. I think we better go home and prepare some lunch. What about you? No, 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 no. I'm not tired yet. 
I have to go and work for more money. Uh, we shall meet around 5 o'clock with enough money for our evening eat out and for rainy day. Uh, okay, but what will you have for lunch until evening? Or should I bring you food like this? No, my dear. Uh, don't bother. I will take some snacks and mineral, okay? Okay, bye bye. All right, my darling. Okay, relax. Shall we? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Say your look, your style, or maybe I just want to chat with you. But all the same, I'm Morgan. I'm also a cram racket myself, but big time, extremely big time. I specialize in burglar. I landed in this city a few days ago. So what's your name? I'm Sandra. Sandra. Sandra, what else do you do apart from dipping hands into people's pockets? Well, nothing. I'm a dip. I was brought up as a dip. My old man too is a dip. At least that is what we do to put bread on our table. That's interesting. Well, uh, Sandra, do you live here alone with your father? Um, yes, I do. My mother died when giving birth to me. I'm an only child. Sandra, you say your father still is too. Yes. He works the buses during the day, and I work the stores. And the next day, we repeat. It's not an interesting way to live life, but it suits us. Well, Sandra, I have seen girls. And I have known girls. Mm. Sandra, I like your style. And uh, I want to take you out. Out? Yeah. Well, well, um, let's see how it works. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't have opened up to you. Indeed. Just at first sight. What? I saw it. I saw it as a small guy. 
Well, Sandra, I hope this will take care of your transport. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Can we see there sometime tomorrow? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. I'm driver. Kept you up for so long. I've been waiting for you for about three hours. Did anything happen to you? No, Daddy. Then why didn't you come back earlier to prepare lunch as usual? Um, uh, I, I, I met a guy who got me talking and stole away some of my time. Why did you allow him? Did you work out anything today? I got enough money from him. How much? Five thousand naira. That's very good. You can go in. I've prepared something for you. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you very much. Sandra, anything the matter? Yes. What is it? Daddy? Um, 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 you are what? I'm in love with the guy, Morgan. No. Well, it happens all the time. So it has happened to you. If you are happy, then I'm happy. You know, Daddy, I'd have told you about him earlier on, but I was scared you'd be angry. What is there to get angry about? A girl like you should get married. Hmm. Besides, I want to become a grandfather. You know I love kids. When is the wedding going to take place? No, I'm not planning to get married yet. We just want to be together, have fun. We don't want kids now, at least not yet. But you do plan to get married, Sandra. We haven't discussed that yet. We just want to have fun. Well, tell me about the guy. Daddy, he's a big operator. But I don't know his racket. Uh, but he's a terrific dresser. He has two flashy cars. Mm, his favorite is money. I'm sure you like him. Well, I hope I'll do. But does he have a record? A record? I don't know what you mean. You said he's a big time operator, isn't it? Yes. I mean, does the police know him? Has he ever been inside? Um. I'm not sure. Of course not. 
Morgan is much too smart for a record. Sandra, we just have to be very, very careful. So far, we have kept out of the police. Because bigger the operator, more dangerous he is. I don't know what you mean. I meant nothing, Sandra. I just say we have to be very, very careful. Mm, we are careful. But I don't see what Morgan has to do with this. He's as smart as a whip. Sandra, from my experience in the business, those who are as smart as a whip invariably get caught. I know what I'm saying. We have to be very, very careful with that guy. You understand? I've heard that. Now I can continue with my food. So you operated as a single hand man in that? Exactly. Well, I don't need any gang to sort out things. Because I believe in myself. <clears throat> I've never failed before. I don't intend to fail. Well, I don't approach a job with a wrong frame of mind. Yes, I know situation has never defeated me. <laughs> oh, for the honest part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you are. Thank you. You see, there is something that really impressed me about you. What is that? Your self-confidence. <laughs> Well, I'm a big girl. That's how I make my money. I'm glad. Thank you. That impressed me also. You see, I thought you were one of those hit and run artists who want to take, uh, run out with Sandra and let her dump her in the dustbin. Oh, me? No, 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 no. I love Sandra. She knows it. I literally love her. Yeah. I'm for it. And she knows it. I'm planning something big for her. Sandra and I. For real, okay? Something big for the future. Don't worry that about that. also makes me happy. Oh. Well, it's time for evening's mm -hmm. Sandra, you keep him company. Thank you, Dad. I'll be back soon, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right. Watch your back. Well, Sandra, my father is a very nice guy. I like him. I think he's a very nice person. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. I like the way he talks, you know, easy to talk to, quick witted and all that. I like him. He's a cool guy. There's no board for him. Well, it's all found out well because he knows you love me. I know your father is easy to discuss, you know, you know talk to, quick witted and all that. You know, old guy with that thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, what do you have for me? Anything you want. Like what? What do you have in the house? Uh, what do you want? Of course, you have to give me one thing first before any other thing. Come ask for yourself. Don't know what to do. Come ask for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> Morgan, my son. Yes, father. Now that I know you really love Sandra, and she's also crazy about you, why not move in? I have a spare room in here. Where? I'm in here in my apartment. I don't like that hell of money you are paying in that hotel. It is just too expensive. <laughs> uh, well, father, that wouldn't make any sense on my part. It doesn't show respect. Sandra, your daughter is my fiancée, for God's sake. No, it doesn't matter. You are now part of the family. Besides, you used to help us out in the family domestics. Dear, I think Father is right. Besides, I hope you call down your expenses in the hotel. And Father here likes having you around. Yes, and it is now that I realize I really need a male companion. Think about it, Morgan. Oh, man. Well, um, you made me see reasons. I think I will move in. Oh, <laughs> that's my son. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. Oh, what about me? No one loves me. No, no, Sandra, we all hate you. Ha! Uh, 
Son, have you had your breakfast? What is the problem? Do you know of any reliable fence in this city? Fence? Yes, there are several. But I wouldn't say they are reliable. The best fence is Donemeka. He runs company in the city and it's strictly big time. He also supplies car to the big shops living around here. Well that depends on what he pays. Does he pay well? It depends on the offer. If it is top class, he will accept not small stuff. But Chief Odete, who deals in the same business, accepts small stuff. Are you thinking of uh, pulling a job? Well, my cash is running out. I need to do a job. No, 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 no. Don't do anything rash. Rash? What do you mean by that? When I do a job, I do it right. No. This is the wrong city. This city is a special city. It's like a closed shop. If you know what I mean. Like what? You see, the boys here are organized and do not encourage outsiders. Am I an outsider? Uh, of course you are. The boys here wouldn't take it kindly with you, for they know themselves. So what would they do if I operate? They will take the police. The police here are dynamic. Mm. So how do I get an insider? Meet to Fondiette, tell him you are in business and be polite to tell him what you want him to do for you. If he accepts, fine, you can operate in the city. But if he does it, <laughs> you will likely be picked up by the cops. Oh, God, shit. Never had this trouble in luck. What the hell with this goddamn city? Well, you take an older man's tip, live here, go to lag, pull a job. After all, it's not that far. Spend some couple of days and come back here. No, lag is too hot for me right now. Is there any trouble? No, no trouble. I'm not going back there. The police over there have description of me. I'll tell you something, Father. I'm getting sick and tired of this way of life. As soon as I get the money, it's either I lose it or spend it. I want to do this job once and for all, so that I can settle down. Really? Yes, certainly, because I want to marry Sandra and settle down. Why a bungalow? Have fun, and you two can stick around because I like you. I think I like your idea. Try it for Dete. I believe he will help you. All right, I'll do that. Uh, but you haven't told me what happened to you in Lag. No, no, don't worry. I don't want to bother you with that. No, I will not bother. I'm a very patient man to the end and wouldn't mind listening to, to long stories. Well, just promise me that you stick to it. You'll not tell Sandra about it. Just promise me. It's a promise, son. Oh, it's all right. It's something to do with success and failure. While in luck, you did succeed to the point that the sun could no longer shine on a broad daylight. But uh, you never told me you had colleagues. I thought you were a singular armed man. That's all talks. 
I have colleagues. We are five members. Four men and one iron lady. Specialized in bunk robbery. I was an expert in bug line, while others are experts in other areas of discipline. Robbing in a bank was more exciting than working as a bank manager. Because we had all the trees to ask transcendence. Even the experienced police in lag could not get us. You look scared, are you? No, 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 no. Well, we are too powerful, gifted, and dedicated. None of us believed that we could get into trouble, but someone betrayed us. Someone? Yes. Who? Rita, the female member. Why? Don't worry. As a long story, I don't want to go into it. Oh, I told you long stories don't uh, bother me. No matter how long. Go on. Well, it was a game played by the police. The state police come out. But Greta did not watch it. So she fell a victim. She fell in love with one of the special squad men. It was a set up by the police. So it was natural for her to just give up. So they caught one of my members when I escaped to this city. Chief of Dieter. Chief of Dieter. I want to say. Business. Business. Excuse me. Ah. I want to say. There's a man here to see you. See his name is Mr. Morgan. It's a business. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, sir. We can go in as well. So, yeah, this was second by the left, so right side. So. Hello, Chief Rodjetin. Hello, young man. What can I do for you? Yes. I am Morgan. A professional burglar. I am pretty lad. Before coming down in the city due to some logistics reasons, there were a few logs, alarm or security guards that I couldn't handle a lock. So Chief, my cash is running out. Do I take it that you are planning on pulling a job here? Exactly. I want to pull a job here in the city. So if I get something, are you in the market to buy? No. What do you mean, no? Are you not in the garden business? I'm in the business, all right, oh. but I don't entertain outsiders. There's nothing here for you, so why not go back to life? They take outsiders. We don't. Listen, if you don't want my business, somebody else will. Don't do it here, young man. Take my tip and go back to your base. Go back to lab. Huh? This city is a closed shop and we have more than enough people working here as it is without outsiders. <laughs> well, thanks for nothing. So if I approach here, who's going to stop me? The police. The police know there should be some level of crime here. That they accept. But a new face, I'm sorry, they won't accept. Will you involve them or something? No, oh, I won't. But somehow, somewhere, somehow, someone is bound to tip them off. 
that a new face is in town and that new face has some ideas. And you know what? They are going to run you out of the city. And if you don't cooperate, you will find yourself behind bars. I can't understand, Chief. Take my tip. There is nothing here for you to operate here. Why not go back to lab? That's where young men like you with potentials can operate with less risk. This city is strictly for the in barons. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I think about it. Take a ride with me. Why not? If you don't mind. But you can, you can have a car like this. An Escalade. Uh -huh. I don't have such cash to throw around. <laughs> but it's not. I mean, it doesn't cost much, India. That is to you, but to me, it's cost a fortune. You haven't told me your name. I'm Sandra. Sandra Johnson. Sandra. Sandra Johnson. What a beautiful name for an actress. How would you talk about? It? No, I haven't. Have you seen any of my movies? I've seen all of them. Remember when I was small, I've been watching your movies. I'm your favorite fan. I've seen your actions. I like the way you act. Man, you're good. I'm starting to recite my favorite actors. Oh, no, no. I mean, movie stars are like every other person. <laughs> <laughs> we must be surprising me. Are you, are you on your own? I'm with my father. Oh, I'm hungry. I hope you don't mind having lunch with me. Oh, is he expecting you? Where? In my restaurant. Um, I haven't read anything about your wife in the papers. Or are you not married? No, I'm not. I'm not expecting to get married now. Happy. Thank you.
that I've ever seen. And you deserve it because you've made so many people happy. making me happy Sandra. I like you. Oh, come on. You deserve to have lunch with me. Where have you been? <laughs> you wouldn't believe what happened to me. I met a movie star. A movie star? Yes. Um, do you know this guy, Andy Michael? Andy Michael, yes. I've watched most of his movies. I know him. I met him today. He took me to his house. This guy is heavily loaded. You need to see. He has a fleet of cars. Are you sure, Sandra? <laughs> yes, you need to see his house. His house is filled with modern luxuries. Mm. I've never seen this touch since I was born. This guy is simply marvelous. Ah, oh, this guy must be loaded. No one can possibly live like that without being worth millions. <laughs> so, are you meeting him again? No. He didn't give me any appointment. Oh. You know what? Let me go and have my bath. Sandra back. Did she get anything today? Well, I got 5,000. Not a very successful day, but that, thank God. Well, um, Sandra is back. She's taking her bath. She got something today, and this is the big tick. What do you mean? Remember I told you about finding a job that wanted 5 million, so that we can pack out from here, buy a bungalow, so that Sandra and I will Settle down. All talk, isn't it? No, no, no. We three are going to pick up 25 million ground. It's like taking a coin from a blind man's ball. 25 million? Oh, but that is a big league. Something Sandra and I had always tried to avoid. Yes. Sandra ran into a superstar, a movie star, Michael Andy. You know him? Yes, yes. He stopped in the movies and he said, This guy is not dead. Okay, he ran up to 10 more cars in his house. He got some stuff to loot in his house. You understand? Are you thinking of knocking over his place and clear the loot? No, I'm not thinking about that. The foundation he suggested is not even ready to comply. And I don't have time to hire a troll that can carry a loot worth over 25 million. We'll just get this guy and hold him to ransom. What? No, 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 no. They could put you into prison for kidnapping. Ah. Not me, not Sandra. Let me tell you, kidnapping is out. You see, mister, this is not kidnapping. Okay, this guy is loaded. What, come on, we'll tell you that we want 25 million naira. What is 25 million naira to him? Peanut. Okay, we'll hold him until he pays up. And we will even know that we've got him. Let me tell you, call it whatever you want. This is out. If that's the way you feel about it. Sandra and I can swing it out without you. I can even do it without Sandra. Then when I get the door, Sandra and I will leave you here. It's as simple as that. Let me tell you, Sandra will have nothing to do with it. She won't even touch it. Is that what they think? Yes. All right. I'll ask her. Yes, let's go and ask her. No problem. You ask her. Let's go. Hello. 
Hello? Yeah. Okay, I'll meet you there, right? You ask her. Ask me what? What's the matter, father? Sandra, he is planning to kidnap my girl, Andy, the movie star. So I told him he wouldn't be part of it. <laughs> kidnap? <laughs> oh, Morgan. Oh, so what? We're not going to hurt the guy. Just keep him under his arrest until he pays the five million naira. That's all. That's nothing to eat. But to, but to what? Allow me to land. When we get this door, we will arrange a house. You know, go to the east, settle down, me and you. Come on, go along with me. Come on. Listen, I won't do it. This is crazy. There's, there's nothing crazy to this one. Say this guy is loaded. Uh -huh. What is the five million naira? Okay. What if he doesn't pay? He will pay. Now listen, Sandra. You say you want to marry me. Have some fun. Hmm? You want to do whatever you want to do. This is the opportunity for you to do that. This is 25 million naira. Now last with me. Go along with me. Chilling. Everywhere. Baby, you cruising. Holiday. You visit beaches. Visit everywhere. Travel around. Okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. Yes, baby. Come on. Sandra. Are you ready to go with me or you want to split up? Sandra. This is dangerous. It's kidnapping. The war will go against us and we'll be away for life sentence. Sandra, you shouldn't do that. Please. Please. Think about your life. This is 25 million naira. This is too much money. No more dipping. No more pickpocketing. No more taking risks in a self service store. Get a nice apartment, a nice little room. Come on, Sandra. Come on, make a try, Sandra. I can pull it with you and father or with you and your father. Please yourself. Think about your life. Me and Sandra settle together, we marry each other. Travel around. Chill it. Come on, you too. Have you been in the play before? Okay, I said I'll do it. Thank you, my baby. What of you, Mr. Dawson? You ready to change your mind? Think about it. Are you sure it's going to work? You think I'm not? It's going to work. Come on. Then count me in. That's fine. You reason well. This is life. We are talking about 25 million naira. This is too much money. Too much money can take, take care of your life, change your life, do whatever you want to do. A trip from the back to Alabama. Come on, you see Chippewa's name, the San Diego Zoo. Go to everywhere. You see snow? Come on. You feel this world. Go have the trip, go to the beaches, go everywhere you want to go. That's your idea. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, this is lifestyle. Ah, oh, Mr. Andy, so good to see you again. Yeah, Jimmy, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Yeah. Is there anything you want to buy from our company? Big dollar round? Yeah, sure. He's quite busy, but um, you know how it is. He works himself to death. I heard go let him know that I'm around, man. I'm a busy man, too. Now, please come in. I'm sure the big dog will be happy to see you. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who we have here. Michael Andy, the movie star himself. Oh, please sit down. You're welcome to my humble business abode. Well, thanks. How is business? Fair enough. We don't grumble even though we struggle, you know. <laughs> we have much to be thankful of. So how is business with you, the movie business? Don't that's a problem. I want to say all those cars you sold to me back to you for cash. Or perhaps even my expensive furniture in my house too. Oh. Why would you want to do that? Are you in some kind of trouble or something? I am broke and in debt. The last movie I did landed me into trouble. Apart from playing the lead role in the movie, I equally directed and produced the film. Oh. So what exactly happened in the movie? Well, the union has banned me along with the movie. Why would they do a thing like that? I mean, that's bad news for such business. Don, five new stars mistakenly got killed during the production. And the union has charged me to court for murder case. Five new stars? Man, why were you so careless? Oh, Don, I wasn't careless. I wasn't careless at all. I mean, I don't know how life bullets were loaded into the cartridge. Instead of the normal empty or plastic bullets that we use during shooting. 
I don't know whether it was a setup. But whatever it is, man, it's too late. I shot and killed five new stars. Five new stars like myself. They all died. They died. And now, I make top headlines in all the newspapers across the country. That is quite pathetic and very sad. It's terrible. So what are you going to do about it? The word is something. I don't know who must have done this to me. Father, as it is now, I will wash up as, as a movie actor. No more. No more at all. And the worst part of it all is that I loaned this money. I borrowed the money from Chief Odieta, your friend, for this production. And as it is now, the guy is naturally looking for me to collect his cash. That's why I need the money badly. Well, Mr. Andy, we must not look at the darkest side of life all the time. Such things happen. Sometimes we can't afford to stop them. But um, I must not fail to say that I'm sorry. Although I am very sorry about this whole situation. And um, you were an unlucky guy. Yeah, you were unlucky. Sometimes we all could be unlucky, you know. But in all these things, we should not let them weigh us down. Yeah. I see you as a guy who has got prospects. Yeah. We've been doing business together so many times, and It's quite unfortunate it happened the way it happened during your production. But what I think you need right now is an immediate help. Yeah. You need immediate cash to settle your debt. So, notwithstanding our word, I'll send Jimmy, my right hand man, to your place. So he can make an inventory of the things you need to sell. And you know how much it is worth. How about that? Oh, I mean, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay with me. You're welcome. And by the way, if the things you want to sell is not what the amount of money you're owing, I could make some other suggestions on how you can um, be able to raise some money to pay off your debt and settle chief or deity. You understand? Well, I'll be grateful. I'll be spending it, okay? All right. It's all right, Mr. Andy. Let's take it easy on yourself. No, I can't. I just can't. It's impossible. This is crazy. How? Sandra, get him here. I will handle him. How do you think that would be possible? Listen, this is the rich guy. He can't follow me to a place like this. So that he did, he loves him. He will do anything for you. Just stay him that your father wants to see him. Okay, just promise me you won't hurt him. Hurt him? Come on, forget it. I will just put a gun on his head and you piss on his trousers. You don't know how these movie stars. They are flying up there on the screen, but show them a gun in real life. They'll just piss like babies. I think you are right. I've had something like that before. Before? Sandra, do what I ask you to do. This is crazy. This is impossible. I can't do this. This is just sick. This is insane. I'm no, Sandra, we'll have to do it. Sandra Johnson. What are you doing around my area? I wanted to see you again. Oh, see me again? Well, here I am. 
I was on my way to the city. Oh, Andy, my father will be so disappointed. He's a terrific fan of yours. When he heard I had lunch with you, ah, he was filled with so much envy. He was so upset that I persuaded him that I was going to make you come along with me. But, you know, um, um... I know, I know, I know I'm asking you a lot, but it's because of my father. He's an invalid. And he has very little pleasure, but I promised him I was going to come with you. He has watched all your movies, and he thinks you're the greatest, just like me. Okay. So, where do you live, Sandra? The Strand Avenue. Lucky you. Well, that's my direction. So, you help me, let's go. All right. I know I'm in a haste. I'm not going to stay long. But if he pleases your father, that will be my pleasure. Okay? Thank you very much, Mr. Andy. You don't know how grateful my father would be. I'll forget it. I'm just preparing you a little debt. Debt? Yeah. Did I owe you something? You see, you said something nice to me. You said something no one has ever said to me. Did I? You didn't even remember because he came straight from your heart. He talked about my home. Remember? No. He said that I deserve it. Because I've given so much pleasures to I me mean, to so many homes. Maybe because I'm trying to live up to your own image of me. Hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Andy. Such a nice man. Oh, Sandra. Feet, just me, you're overpressing me. I'm just living a natural life, like a normal woman. Okay? Most many people are as rich and as famous as you are. We both are people like my father and myself. I'm not the proud type. Hmm. This is just me. I mean, I take others like, like everyone, like the same person. That dialogue must be out of a very serious action of I'm supporting you. No one could ever turn that you could turn out to be a gangster war. Mister, continue with your action movie. Yes, shut up. Is that one your father? Yes, Mr. Johnson. Hi, Mr. Johnson. You have a very lovely and beautiful daughter. What about the guy putting gun at me? You see your brother? Because I'm sure he's not your test of a boyfriend. Hey, shut up, Mr. Do the talking around here. Mr. I think you need a little training. To make a very good stunt actor.
Don't touch it. A little person can never dream anything after all you say, Yeba. If you make any move, if you make any other wrong move, I'll kill you second, Billy Bot. Just like you said. Come, sit down. I'm glad to see that good host. Sandra, you owe me an explanation. What is this all about? Sandra, I'm telling you. Tell the truth. Truth never hurt anybody. Mr. Andy, I feel very ashamed of myself. We needed money terribly. It was all Morgan's idea. When he heard that I had met you, he said it would be easy to kidnap you and he would pay to be freed. He promised not to hurt you. You being a rich guy, we thought that you wouldn't mind paying the ransom. And I and my father, we need the money to make better our lives for ourselves. But I can see how wrong I am. I'm very sorry. Please forgive us. Ransom? So how much were you going to ask? 25 million naira. Um, you being a rich guy, we thought that you wouldn't miss it. Or would you? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh my god. Funny? That's the best joke of the year. My palm is got a paper. I am as broke as you are. The only thing I have in this world now is just me. I've got my car packed outside. I've sold everything that I have. Yet it's not still enough to pay my creditor. Well, I'm getting out of here before my creditor, Mr. I mean, what do you call him? Chief or theater, he catches up with me. But let me tell you something. You got the wrong victim. Well, I'm advise you, Sandra, and your cohorts. You see, you don't judge people from their faces. It could be the same. Hmm? So listen to him, he's bluffing. I'm not shaking. Even without a gun, I can handle you. Sit down. Sit down. If you really mean you don't have any money, you're not rich. You know those chains of cars, the marvelous house. You don't expect us to believe that. Well, I've sold everything I have. I sold every damn thing. Yet the money is not yet enough to pay my creditor. Well, as a matter of fact, the last movie I did in order me to trouble. Five known movie stars. God was taken killed. Just did that in my house. Five known stars. 
I don't know. I won't really say it was a setup or what, but I wash off my house. No more movies. No more. It's like I read something like that in the papers. So you, you are the one involved. You see, the reason why I can't give you any money, if it wasn't my better days, what I'm giving you to the family on there, just for the dash. No, well, um, you come a little bit late. Well, I have to be on my way. So, you're not going to make any trouble with us? I mean, the police? Please? No, I'm not, of course. I won't. Even the police will be looking for me for ignoring a court summer. things you know. You will understand. Please don't have this poison with me. You know it's quite frustrating drinking as well. Oh thanks. Well I came here to find something about the gold. What is it about? Oh the gold the gold. <laughs> the gold has an amusing history that you would like to know. If you can get them, I will pay you 200 million cash. Well, do you have to explain that to me? But what I'm here to understand is my commitment in this whole house. <laughs> well, Mr. Randy. I understand that you're in good terms with Mr. Noah. Yeah. I know he's your very good friend. So I think you stand a good chance of getting this gold than any other person in the whole world. You understand? If you can get them, I will collect them. And I'll pay you the exact amount of money I mentioned without a question. Did Mr. Law have this card? Sure he does. History, 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 history. Before you got to know Mr. Law, Mr. Randy. Mr. Lawal was a very local goldsmith. Lawal is rich and famous today because of this gold. Yes. The gold was originally discovered by a local farmer from his land. 
discovered this. He approached Lama, who was a goldsmith then. So, he sold to Mr. Lama for what I call chicken. When Mr. Lawa finally refined the gold, it turned out to be the world's best and most expensive commodity. That is the history. <sighs> All this for just some five pieces of ancient gold? Side of the business, Mr. Randy. What you are required to do is to get this gold, and I'll pay you what I have already told you. That is all you need to know. Mr. Lawal has about 550 of this gold, thick, that looks the same. So tell me, how can a burglar know the original one and be able to steal it? Except a friend like you. And all, this is really very dangerous game. Yes, I agree with you, it is dangerous. Every game is dangerous, you know. But what I need you to find out is how he classifies his gold. And in what case he keeps them. If you can find out this information, I'll pay you the exact amount of money without a question. Okay, um. As you have get closer to the court, or have get close to the court, how long will the code that you want? Good question. Very good question. Jimmy! You know, go get me the portrait. Mr. Ryan, are you sure you don't want to have this poison with me? Like I said before, you know it's quite frustrating drinking alone. Uh, really because I'm leaving the boat. Here is a perfect sample of the original gold. The original tool that he sold. I'm sure with this, you can get to know where the other five is. Well, um, I'll see, what, I'll see what I can do with it. Well, you must be very careful how you approach Mr. Lamar. Mr. Riley, I must not fail to caution you. Mr. Lawal is no fool. If he gets to find out, if he has any slightest idea that you are after the gold, he might hide it in a vault or put it in a bank. And that makes it difficult for anyone to get it. And the whole operation will suck. This is really a shot in the dark, honestly. Yes, sir, I agree with you, it's a shot in the dark. But you know, 
If you can find him, and how he classifies the gold, I think we will make do with the information. Only information? Yes, only information. If you can find him, and how he classifies the gold, where he keeps them. I will pass the information to my client, and we will still pay you the exact amount that I mentioned to you. Oh, what? It's okay. It's okay. I'll go along with that. Hmm? So you give it to me. I mean, I mean, I, I, I'm in for it. I'm in for the money. It's okay. I'm in for the money. Yeah. I like the call, Mr. Andy. Yeah, I take the money I'm calling. And I'll give me the... I don't have many details. All right, Mr. Andy. I believe I can count on you. I can rely on your capability. After all, we've done it several times in the movies. And I believe you can still do it for real now. So long, Mr. Abby. I'll make a try. See you. Hey, Mr. Abby. Hey, Mr. Any good news for me? I mean the gold. Yes, Chief. Um, there is progress. I see. I have come to realize that um, Michelle Lawal has no other friend that I know of except Michael Andy, the movie star. I don't know if you know him, Chief. Yeah, you see, we don't have to waste time on this. Okay? I already know uh, Michelle Lawal. But tell me more about uh, this... Uh, Michael Andy. Michael Andy. Yes. Uh, not everybody has time to watch movies, especially somebody as busy as I am. Yeah, Chief, I'm very sorry about that, but uh, Michael Andy is a very popular movie star in Nollywood. He's known everywhere, so um, and he's a very good friend of Michelle Lawal. So I thought it wise that if I could go through him, I will succeed to get the gold from Michelle Lawal. How do you mean? Can you express it? Well, Chief, um, Michael Andy is now washed up as a movie star. Yeah, he's been banned from the movie industry, from producing, acting and directing. That was what he told me. So, um, I believe um, he would like to do anything to be able to raise money to get back to his status as a movie star. So I, I offered to give him 200 million if he can be able to get the gold from Michel Lawal or an information on how we can get the gold from Michelle Lawal. Rebecca, I don't have a problem with 200 million naira. That's no problem. But all I'm, I'm concerned is, will he succeed at the end of the day? Yes, I hope so, Chief. I believe he will succeed. What if he doesn't? Are you prepared to profile suggestions as what next to do? Well, Chief, for now, I... There is no suggestion yet. Um, I, I, I believe he is going to succeed, but um, if he fails, I'll think of something else. And that's like, like what? Well, Chief, um, I know that um, Michelle Lawal has a daughter, so we could use her to put pressure on him to get the gold. Yes, I'm aware that he has a daughter. I've also considered that as an option. But first and foremost, we have to be sure Lawal has a gold. If he does, and Andy uh, somehow fails us, then we could fall back 
and use her as cannon fodder to achieve our target, our aim, our objective. I believe you, sir. I, but I, I also believe that um, Michael Andy will not fail. Yeah. Because um, he's got the incentive to succeed, Chief. I see that all over him. Because if he can do it in the movies, I believe he can do it in the real life. Well, I think you've sounded very optimistic so far. I just hope that it works out that way. But what you do in the interim is make sure you keep me posted on this matter at any point in time. All right, Chief. I'll do that, Chief. So, go back to work. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Hello? Yeah, is that Joe? Good. Michael Andy, a movie star. You know him. I wanted to open a file on him immediately. And have him covered. Alright? And I want a daily report on his movements. It's very important. Are you listening to me? Good. And make sure he's not aware he's been monitored. Otherwise, I will blow your head. I will blow your skull. I mean it. All right? Good. If you really want 25 million naira, how about earning it? How? Would you like to do a job with me? A job? What kind of job? Well, uh, that's this old friend of mine. He has a goal that is worth a fortune. Mm -hmm. Don Emeka, who's a hot dealer in goods like that, wants to pay me 200 million naira for the good. But I'll get them, it's my own business. I want you people to work with me and grab the good. Pay you to the family line that you want. Then I'll part with your money. Are you interested? Yeah, why not? We all are into business. I mean, this is the kind of thing we'll be dreaming about. So tell us more about this good. Well, from what Emeka told me, it's been wise to approach Mr. Lower. And um, there'll be a little problem. I have to keep out of sight. Yes. Chief Odete, my creditor, is looking for me. I was the police catches up with me. With that song. We, we have a spare room here. We clean up for you, Mr. Andy. Well, that's not a bad idea. But, Morgan, you'll be the foreman for this job. I'm in already. So what's the next step? There's a big chance of getting the information we want from Mr. Lawa's daughter. Rose Lawa is a wild mother. I've met her a couple of times in different nightclubs. Oh, she's truly not my style. She drinks a lot. And my idea of juvenile best. Can her father tame her? Her father can't stand the sight of her, nor she standing the sight of her father. Though she lives with him, they discuss limits. Well, her father keeps her short of money, and because of that, she's always on the lookout for boyfriends who have money to spend on her, or even big modeling agents. They will want to give her modeling jobs. Um, I think, Morgan, you can handle her. 
dig into it and we'll get the information we want to take. But well, that suits me. How do I make this chick? Yes, she's a straight pick. I mean, it's not difficult. You can use my car. She comes to Blue Sky International Hotel every Sunday evening to hunt for big modern legends. Just to have fun. She's about 20, yeah. Tall, good figure, extremely beautiful. Well, Mr. Morgan, if you spot a wild looking girl with streaming eyes on tight jeans, that's Rose Laura. I like it even more. It's just like fun and business combined. You know the way they do in movies. Well, I do her with care. She's not a pushover. I mean, depends on your manner of approach. But well, you just take it easy. Don't rush her. We still have enough time. But maybe after meeting her three to four times, you can now prove her. But if there's any difficulty along the way, just let me in. Help you. I think we are given. Well, no problem. I'll get to meet her on Sunday night. Straight away. No problem. It's a deal. Sandra is taking interest in Angie Don Hurdy. I have a sneaky feeling that because Andy had manhandled me, Sandra is now transferring her affections from me to Andy. Andy has the key to the big tech. Yes. I've always been dreaming about so. I must be careful not to cause trouble in order to shatter the plans. But I love Sandra. I want to settle down with her. Nah, nah. There are thousands of pretty girls as Sandra out there. I will spoil this day because of Sandra. When the job is done and Andy pays the money, if Sandra opted to stay with Andy, then that would be too bad for her and her father. I will pocket the whole amount and work out on them. If she did it, fine. I'm not going to shed tears when you see her. Why not, young man? Are you Rose Lawa? Mm-hmm. No problem. Ah, no, no. You know, you're a model. I mean, a lot of people like to talk to you and also discuss business with you. Mm -hmm. right, so, so you got a job for me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, can we settle down and talk? Sure. I am Morgan, mm. a German based business guy. Mm. So I came into the country a few weeks ago. Germany? Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So, how long are you staying in this country? 
Um, a month or two months, I will not stay longer than that because I have some business that will need my attention in Germany. Cool. What kind of job do you have for me? Well, I have not really. Maybe I ran into one of your modeling world recently, then I fell in love with your beauty. <laughs> Come on, I did you in Germany who have been the most richest model in this world. Please, 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 don't tease me, please. No, I'm serious because you're beautiful, okay? You're good. I think I have not seen any woman, you know, beautiful like you before in Germany. Thank you. Maybe you take me to Germany one of these days. Um, that would be much later because I would naturally love to, you know, have you as my personal friend so I must stay in this country. Mm. So you're saying that when you get back to Germany, our eternal friendship expires? Oh, no, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean at all. So what are you saying? I would like to, you know, spend all my life with you in Germany as husband and wife if you like the idea. I don't know. <laughs> Of course I do. I mean, every girl's dream is to get married, especially with a handsome guy like you. Handsome? Me? Yeah. Am I handsome? Serious, you're handsome. I love your nose. No, come on, you're pulling my legs. Don't tell me that. <laughs> come on, Morgan, I can pull your legs. Nobody has ever told me that before, Rosie. Come on. There's something special about you. Really, something very special. Oh, maybe you're especially sent to me from God anyway. I like you. Uh, thank you. I think I'm gonna like you too. So you don't need any No, this is, this is good. This is good. Mm -hmm. So um Rosie, tell me more about yourself. Okay, um I'm Rose Lawa. You already know. I'm a model. Mm-hmm. I love traveling. Oh, have you been to Bahamas before? No. Oklahoma? No. Chicago? <laughs> no. Morgan. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine this? See, Morgan. Yeah. I've not been to anywhere. Are you serious? <laughs> well, look at me to take you over those places. Morgan. I'm serious. This is Morgan, JP. Welcome, Mr. Morgan. Perfectly well. Good. It was more than we thought. Come on, that girl is so easy to audition. Yeah. She fell in love with me lady, she spotted me. Really? Yes. Certainly she loves me. Tell us, how did it go? Well, I, I just told her that um, I'm, a, I'm a business guy based in Germany and she went flat. She go, just go crazy. <laughs> we'll be meeting again by 5 p.m. tomorrow. That's her. Mr. Morgan. Now listen to me. Tomorrow's outing will be a very special one. You have to take my tip. You see, you've portrayed the image of a very, very rich car. So, which car did you use today? I used my car. You're yeah, good. You see, tomorrow you use my Jeep. Next tomorrow's meeting, you use any of my cars. I want you to take her to Taiwan Club and after everything, lodge her into any of the five star hotels. Well, I'll give you some money to do around. Uh, anyway, you're not a member of Taiwan Club, but I'll make a phone call to the secretary. He's my personal friend. Oh, that's well understood, Andy. I will drag her to there tomorrow. I promise you that. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, well, uh, you don't have to rush things. Just take it easy. We have to do this bit by bit. Of course, we are not in a rush. We are not in a hurry. Get yourself intimated with her. Then you can probe her. Oh, I love this business. I love your ideas, Mr. Andy. I love this business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. If you had been a criminal before now, Mr. Andy, you would have made a lot of money than in movies. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know you got the talent. But that's not your business. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
God, I love this place. It's beautiful. None of your boyfriends should be here. Please, I've told you, I don't keep boyfriends. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh huh. Um, please, um, let's have um crab cocktail, steaks, and uh, freeny whiskey. Sounds good. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Morgan, you didn't ask me what I want to eat. Come on, baby, you're in the hamburger class. You choose what you want when you're with small guys, but I choose for you when you're with me. Oh, man. Oh, Don't you think you're perfect? I'm ready. I like that. I like you. Thank you. I like you too. I think I'll change my mind. Change your mind? Mm -hmm. oh, let me. I mean, I'll eat you. No, no, nah, nah, you can't eat me. Swallow me. <laughs> swallow me, baby. Girl, you have a very good sense of humor. Oh, no, 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 no. Please swallow me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay. Oh, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Uh, how are the morning to come? Where are we going now? To the Taiwan Club. Mm -hmm. You know it? Yeah. It's strictly big time. Yeah, of course. Are you remember? Oh, sure. You mean none of your boyfriends ever took you to the Taiwan Club? Honey, I've told you, I don't keep boyfriends. Please. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just forgive me. Forgive me. Uh -huh. Oh, was it a It's such a wonderful company. Oh, thank you. Come on, I'm going to take you to Germany. Really? Yes, believe me, you make a whole lot of money in Germany. Oh, God, I want plenty of money. You know, yes. plenty, plenty of money. I just want to leave this country, get away from home, far away from my boring father. What's the matter with your father? My parents are pain in their ass, but my father is exceptional. He doesn't care about any person, he doesn't care about anything except this Asian piece of gold. What's so special about this old piece of gold? Sissy, please, let's not talk about it. It's boring. <laughs> no, 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 tell me, I'm interested. Does he make money from this gold? Make money. The old fool doesn't make a dime. He spends money. He spends millions of naira just to protect his, his gold. Protect? How? He pays armed soldiers to secure his gold for him. Can you imagine? One savior came and offered him 500 million naira and the old food wouldn't budge. 500 million? Yes. Oh. Yeah, let's not talk about him. Let's just go to the Taiwan class. Of course, that's where we're going to. Right? You're going to have fun, enjoy yourself, okay? Okay. Then. That's why I'm here for you. Yes, brother, don't bother, but I love you, okay? <laughs> Take you to Germany, you have fun over there. Oh, no, I just want to go to Germany. You will go. Take you to see I'm not in there, Yeah, of course, now this is money. And I'll take you to one modern legend in Hamburg. You know, Hamburg. you know, there's another one in Frankfurt. There's another <laughs> one also in Berlin. Oh, God, so, I love you. Yeah, of course, I'll, t I'll take you over. Come on, man. I'm going to take a shower, okay? I want to watch this late hour's news. What's so important about the news? Of us only 25. No. I'm going to double cross him. This chick wanted money. She had said so. So if I handled her right, she and I could get the gold. I'm with her. And we know how to sell them for that sum of money. Maybe she could find out who had made the offer. 500 million naira. <laughs> We do that. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
Something about going around with small guys. I can't afford to feed a girl like you. Me? Mm? Yes. Mm. But don't worry about that. I will I will give you enough exercise. Okay? Program? Yeah. Yes. Oh well, hang up. Well, tell me something. It's what? your old man. Do you two go along together? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's an understatement of the year. <sighs> Look, let's not talk about him. He's boring. So this gold you're telling me about. You see someone offered to pay 500 million for just five pieces of gold? Mm-hmm. Are you joking with me? No, I saw the letter. I did. You mean someone actually offered that kind of money for five pieces of gold? That's it. It made me sick to my stomach. All that money means. What I could have done with it. And that old fool just threw away the letter into the trash can. Come on. What was this girl done about? It's just one ancient piece of nonsense that he got from a poor farmer some time ago when nobody knew its value. Wow. Let's struggle for it. Let's talk about something. I know, there's a, maybe, you know, I'm curious. Who is this guy that offers such amount of money? Morgan. Why do you care? Oh, you don't know? It's a big idea. Oh, well, um. No problem since you just want to make a mystery of this man. I'm just curious. Okay. <laughs> you know, let's forget about the gold issue. Oh, okay. Let's just go swimming. Swimming? Yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> no swimming in the pool, not here. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Anywhere you want. Swimming uh, in the pool? Yeah. Bye. Mm. This is the kind of life I have always wanted to live. Sweetheart, would you stay a little longer because of me? Please? Um, um oh, oh, all right, all right, um, just because of you. You know I will not do it for any other trick. Thank you. So, Rosie, what will you do if you have 500 million naira? <laughs> You see, thinking about that, mm. what's with it anyway? I'm asking you a question. Okay. With that kind of bread, uh, oh, I do. I guess I'll leave the country. Yeah, maybe to Paris or somewhere in Germany and start the kind of life I have always wanted to live. Mm -hmm. So. That's cool. Well, let's say your old man is lukewarm on this gold. What will he do? If you take them, will he miss it? <laughs> of course he'll miss them. Look, this man has been floating over this gold for God knows how long. 
Despite the fact that someone offered him that kind of money, he loves this gold more than anything in this world. He will miss them. So what? What guy? Oh, I think someone thinks I'm stupid. I'll surprise you. You're thinking of getting the gold and selling it to the buyer? Hmm. Ah, come on. No, it's an idea that I'll call to me now. What if we get a pay off like that? You know, would you split it with me? Or maybe if you want to marry me, we can still share the lot and go back uh, to Germany. Who are you? A business guy on the neck. Like you, testing for money. We'll come with this as partners. Okay. Fine. If you think you're smart enough to get the gold, go ahead. I'll help you. But I will not give you the name of the buyer. I alone will handle that at the end of the day. I'm talking about splitting the money. I'll get 300 million and you get two. Good? Let's play alone. I think I like you. Let's drink tight. Well, all right, um, baby, let's go back to the hotel bar. I'm cool. Yeah. So, Rosie, mm -hmm. how do we get this boat? You're keen, ain't you? Just keep this matter lock. Are you working with me on this gold or not? Morgan, you think if I had the chance of getting the gold and selling it to the buyer, I wouldn't have gotten out of this country? Look, the old man protects his collections. Well, don't you think me and you working it together, we can swing it? Look, it's a waste of time, okay? It's just a waste of time. You can't get it. Simple. Let's just think about what we'll get tonight. Please. Now listen, baby. No money is concerned. Nothing is a waste of time. <laughs> Yet does he keep his collections? Hmm. In the house. In the big room. In that room, there are so many drawers. And in those drawers there are so, so, so many ancient pieces of gold. So, believe me, boyfriend, if you're looking for a particular gold in that room, it's like looking for a virgin in the city. You said five before, now thousands pieces of gold. What do you mean? There are five original pieces of gold. The rest are fake. Just to deceive a thief. So what's the security like? Yeah, tricky alarms wired directly to the police headquarters. Each drawer automatically locks when he is not in the room, although it has a switch. The switch is in a steel box and is built into the wall. He has the keys. There's a CCTV and the security guard watches the monitor day and night when he is not in the room. Look, my old man has, in fact, he protects this gold. That's all he cares about. Where was it? Suppose I want to break into the room without raising any alarm. Mm. How do I get this gold? Impossible. You can't. I said suppose I did. I know your father will not have a computer memory to have, you know, the numbers of where he kept the gold. He must have a way of finding it fast. Yeah, he has. I mean, we both figured it out some time ago. That was before I realized there was more to this life than fooling around with my old-fashioned foolish father. So what's the system then? It's simple. Each drawer has a number and the drawer number containing the original piece of gold is recorded in a register. Yeah, and he carries the register around. Yeah. At night, he locks it in a safe in his room. What's the register like? It's a small diary. He puts it in the breast pocket of his jacket. Short of knocking him down, no one gets to it. So, what if I knock him down on the way and get it? <laughs> it's impossible. He goes around with armed soldiers. Well, I think about it. Suppose I come up with an idea. Can we make a deal? What deal? 
I mean, me getting the gold and you giving me the name of the buyer. That is not my idea of a deal, okay? I get 300 million and you get two. Okay. Okay. And Rosie will handle the buyer. So go and get the gold. Let's see. <laughs> okay, okay. Why are you laughing? You make me laugh. It's not possible. You can't get the gold, my dear. You just want to waste your time. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'll be waiting. Herself. Mr. Lawa is still having the good. Now, oh, Mr. Andy, I want to ask you a question. How much did John Demeka afford you for this good? How much you offered me some of your business? I mean, some of your concern? You three agreed to work with me for 25 million naira. No, not that. That was then. See, I am doing all the work. We couldn't get to the forefront. You're using me to get this gold. That this gold is worth money. Please, I want to know how much John Emeka offered you for this gold. <laughs> 200, naira, 200 million naira, like I said before, as it was my own idea and contact. I mean, 25 million naira is a fair split for three of you. <laughs> 25 million naira, really think so? No, it's not going to work out like that. It must be better than that. Are you people okay with that? Or should I add anything? Should no, I forget about that. This is the new deal. I will get 50. Because I am going to get the one and I will get it. I will get 50. Then we will get 50 both of them. Then you take 100. But that still puts you ahead, Mr. Andy. Well... It's okay by me. It's okay. It's okay. Um, tell me more. Um, is Mr. Lawa still having the gold? Um, yes. But there's no problem about where he keeps the gold because as a professional burglar, I can steal the gold even with all the security alarm, wherever and all that. I can take it out. The problem right now is the register, where he writes the number of drawer, where he keeps the gold. This register, he keeps it in his pocket and goes around with it. Then at night, he will keep it in a metal safe in his bedroom locket. Well, that's no problem. It's never a problem. The deal I have with Donny Maker is to assure him that Mr. Lawa still has the code and how to get it. Then he will pay. He will pay off. Yeah, um, I've gotten the, um, the necessary information I, I need to get from him. And I promise you, by this time tomorrow, we'll grab the money. Ah, no, I need this seat. Hold on, Mr. Andy. If a crook like Don Emeka is willing to offer you 200 million for this gold, how much do you think he will get when he sells this gold? Well, that's none of my business. The 100 million naira is okay for me. I was supposed to see him right away and give him the necessary information. Then, let's pay the permit. Uh, what if I tell you that I can get who the buyer is? Oh, suppose I tell you that the buyer could pay 500 million naira. If you get this gold, they will call John America out. Do you know the buyer? I can find out. How? Don't worry about that, I can find out. Because we will look stupid if you get this gold and John America will just give us 200 million naira part away with three. Hey, come on. With all the information that I have, I can get this gold and send the gold to me and make us clear to them we take the 500 million and get away. Well, I'll think about it. You better do fast. One minute. I mean, come on, there's nothing wasted. 
I've stressed myself over there and what the judge will just come and pick up the money if I for them. Come on, there! Think about it! It seems Morgan is planning to double cross not only Bonemeka, but Sandra, but Johnson and me. Just how the double cross will work, I have no idea. Can Morgan be smarter than I am? I've made some movies in which I, as the hero, had dealt with dogs like Morgan and won. But now, this is for real, not film. There'll be no scriptwriter to take off me. No director to shout cards. When the going get too rough. <laughs> oh well, let, let's say only the tough gets going. Alright, Morgan. Let's see how. Let's see how smart you are. Let's add this out as if it is a movie at least. <laughs> well, it could be fun. Adding out of one of my movies. It is time for real. You don't be surprised, Morgan. As a superstar, I will still win. Even if it is for real. Yes. experience to train Sandra over the years. Uh, what? Um, okay. Suppose we have a, a demonstration. I want to see you. Um, yeah, I have a piece of paper in my breast pocket. I want to see you steal it away from me. <laughs> Father, let's show that. Where is the paper? Show that, Father. 
your paper. Man, this is impressive and wonderful. <laughs> you know what? Okay. Uh, I'll think about it, okay? God damn it. Jesus. <laughs> Who really took the paper? <laughs> I did. I took it and I gave it to my father with a twinkle of an eye. <laughs> Andy, have you gotten any idea? Um, the problem is how to get Mr. Lawa. You know, he hardly receive visitors. But um, I have an idea that will work. What's the idea? Well, Sandra, you will handle this job with your father. Having seen what you demonstrated to some minutes ago, I think you will be successful. Um. Tell us the plan first, then we'll know if it will work or not. Well, here it is. Mr. Lawa gets a letter that you and your husband are poor farmers and that you've discovered some ancient pieces of gold in your farm. And that you don't know the value of this gold. I haven't heard that it is in goods and other stuff like that. If you could look at it, maybe if he has, if he's interested or not, he can as well advise you people on what to do with it. Then, if he's interested, man, that gives you a very big opportunity to go in, steal the register from his pocket, and come back. How would we get Asian gold to present to him in case he invites us? That's no problem. I have some. For the sample of the ancient good, yeah, which the Namaka gave to me. We've contacted some local goldsmith that will make fake pieces of the ancient good. You understand? And they will look exactly, exactly like the original that Mr. Lawa has. Then, if Mr. Lawa is interested, before realizing that those pieces of gold were fake, you have every opportunity to steal whatever you want to steal and come back. That's a very excellent idea. I think it's good. Yeah, if that is done, then, Sandra, you flash me immediately. So I'll give him a call. I think that will work somehow. How? You know, I am his very close friend. And it's been a long time that we talk to each other, even saw each other last. So if I... Call and engage him in this, you know, some long time no see talk. I will give you people a very big opportunity to you know, do whatever you want to do and come back. Do you understand me? Mm, I think that will make it easy for us to steal the register from Mr. Lawa. Mr. Morgan, how, how do you intend to find the name of the boy? Well, forget that. Leave that for me. I will handle that. No, 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 no. I mean, we're working like we're working as a team. This is a team deal. You have to be straightforward. So tell us, how do you intend to fight? How do you intend to fight this, this buyer? Because Lawa knows who the buyer is. How did she find out? She read the letter. She finds somewhere. We had the buyer write to his father, offering him about the money I told him. Now, why did she tell you the name of the buyer? Don't worry, she will tell me, but I've got to soften her up a little. How do you intend to soften her? Don't worry about that, I'll do that. Sorry, Mr. I Me, mean, that is not convincing enough. I mean, we've just concluded a deal as partners. Remember, we four, I mean, we four are now partners. What is it that you're holding? Let's get this straight. I want to know everything about that girl. Well, I'm going to pay her off. And that will be for my own share of the money. A hundred million naira should give me the name of the buyer. Now why don't you tell us this? Or this what? That's the business I did with her. I don't want to bother you with that, for God's sake. You mean you, you told her that you're going to steal the gold and she wake up that day? That girl hates her father. You gave this money and freedom. That's all. Just try and do that as quickly as possible to get the name of the buyer. Please. Uh, that's a small deal. I'll handle that. No problem with that. 
Okay? Come on, this girl is her freedom. She need money. So I need to pay her before I get the money. That's the deal. You got it. She won't do that. Do you take me for a fool? She has agreed in return for her own share to give me the letter in the mouth with her father. Oh, no, no. Come on. It won't. Guess what? It won't. Guess what? <laughs> Mr. Lawada, it's just tomorrow morning at exactly 10 a.m. in his office inside the gold room. Yes, you reply. Like. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> have you gotten the fake one? Yes, the brother this morning. I, I have them in my room. Of course, it's Papa, Papa, Papa. Ah, this is not the <laughs> Yes, sir, we do. But we want an honest gold dealer who can help us sell them on a bigger value. Well, everybody wants profit and um, as you can see, I do no other business than gold. And when I see a grow gold, I know it's worth. Okay? But this is the business I do all my life. I have thousands and pieces of them in my gold room there and um, I can't cheat you poor farmer because it's not in my blood to cheat people so can I have a look at your gold? Yes sir, if you say so Like 
I said, you won't know that doing business with me. I'm a very honest person when it comes to things like this. Be fast about it. Hello, yeah. Hello, this is Andy Michael. Yeah, the movie star. Please can I be on to Chief Lower? Oh please, I would have loved to talk with him. Please, I'll be glad if you should come on phone. Please. Okay. Andy wants to speak with you. I could not discharge um, the set. You can't discharge the set? Yes. Which Andy? Andy, the movie star. Did you tell him I'm busy? I did. Gentlemen. Please. Gentlemen and baby, excuse me. No, no problem. Excuse me. I'm rather occupied right now. Uh, Mandy, I've not seen you for a long time. Why? Yeah, uh, I had an accident. Yeah, in one of my movie productions. An accident? Yes, a very major accident, very big one. In fact, I, I thought she must have read it over the, I mean, the it on the newspaper. How serious is it? Chief, it was serious. It was really, really serious. Um, in fact, Chief, don't worry, when I, when I come over to, I mean, to your residence then, I can discuss in details what happened to me. Uh, let me right. save you. Since you're busy, let me, know, let me just save you from that stress. Okay, can you come over tomorrow? Tomorrow by 10 o'clock. Okay, okay. Okay, bye bye now. How much are you going to pay, sir? Uh, as of now, we don't know the value because it's not been refined. Until it's refined, then we can talk about the money. Okay? I suggest you come next week Friday so we can, you know, put us together. And how much I'll pay you. Okay, sir. If you say so, no problem. You can have your bag back, right? Okay? I think Thank you, sir. Right. Am I to blame myself? <laughs> See that own business will come. Maybe I make millions out of them. Who knows? <laughs> Trust me, I will get the name of the buyer. 
but you don't go with me. Because this is this is a job for expert and I don't work with nervous. Yeah, call me whatever you like. But you must give us the name of the bag. Then later we'll talk about the rest. Alright. And you know what? If you got us the name of the buyer, I will call the buyer and be sure that he was ready to buy it. Alright. You think you're smart? Oh, you think you're smart? That still stands, Mr. Randy. Now, there's something I want to know. What if I get the gold I want? Or perhaps that will relieve you of the trouble of trying to get it, or even your client of the risk of trying to grab the gold, right? It is one and the same thing, Mr. Randy. It is either you get the gold or the information on how we can get the gold. My client who needs this gold has something planned out. He has got something organized. So, if you get the gold, I'll still pay you exactly the amount I told you. Well, I don't want to waste your time, neither do I want you to waste mine. If I get the gold, will you pay me in cash? Or with a check. We don't deal with checks here, Mr. Randy. We deal with cash. If you have the information or the gold equivalent, we'll give you cash. Is this something you have in that black briefcase beside you? You guess what? I have the gold, don't you make it? You're a smart man. Let's see what you have in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So what about the cash? This is beautiful. Jimmy? You don't. Get the briefcase. Hey, 
shut up, I'll tell you. But first, what's the drawers now? <laughs> Go ahead and tell me something fake, then I'll tell you what that means. No, son, no, no. She has lover's diary. Oh. Believe me, they're not fake. Wolf. And if you wish to count it, you can do that at a reception. There's a counting machine there where the reception is waiting for you. Yeah. It's true, Mr. Andy. That's the reception, right? Yeah, that's the reception. Most likely the money isn't going to the bank immediately. So I want you to get the man and walk on a slow recovery. Do you understand? Yes, boss. I want every dime back. And trust me, boss. Leave my presence. Jimmy? Yes, boss. Take the gold upstairs.
Alexandra. What is it? I actually don't know. Why is she here by now? I am back. Yes, oh. I am back with the cash. Where's the cash? The love of weather cash is back. Hey! <laughs> you know what? Yes. He paid cash and collected the goods. <laughs> I have your 1.6 million US dollars. 1.6 uh -huh. million? Yes, we're splitting it to two. But if you take them, I have while I go home with the men half. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. My son, we are more than grateful. Well, this is not the best time for such compliments. I still have one more problem on my hand. What is the problem, my son? I guess those people are following me. Why should they? I don't know, I don't know. But you have given them the gold and everything. No, certain. Yes, I've done that. Look, you don't know those people. You don't know them. They don't think the way you do. Mm. Remember, we are dealing with criminal icons. But you see, these people are goodless barons that they don't think of any other thing than money. Blood money. Do you understand me? What do we do, my son? What kind of question is that? I mean, we should leave town. We should leave the city mm. and go to somewhere else. Eh, hey, that's a good idea. What, where do we run to? So you ask me where do we go to? Let's leave! Look, let me tell you, besides the maker's men, that guy, Morgan, could be as dangerous as this thing. And me, personally, me, I don't trust him. That is right. He had just left. He came threatening us with a gun for Lawa's diary. That's true. He came here. He did? Yes. And uh, we gave him to let him go. He's crazy. He will find nothing. Uh, how about the bank? No, the bank is not the best option now. The police will be here. The police will be at us now. Police? Yes, immediately my wife find out that the goats are missing. The police will be after us. So hey. let's leave this city immediately. Let's, let's leave. Let's go get your things. Oh, let's get our bank. Get the men and go back on search. Yes, sir. Listen. If you do not get the suspects, don't come back here. Yes, sir. This profession needs smart and dedicated people. If criminals without practical training can overpower you and train Nigerian police officers in a shooting duel, then you are doomed. I don't want to hear news of failure. Produce results! Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now go. Get the men well armed. 
use maximum force where necessary, but produce results. Now get out! Yes, sir. Are you? Um, my, my name is Jack. Please, so my, I'm dropping get me here. They, they want to kill me. Please help me. Please help me. But I can't help you. Why? I don't have any instrument for that. Can I get you a chain cutter somewhere around town? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Please do that. Okay. Be fast, be fast. Okay, I, I'll be here in a moment. No, no, no. Officers, there's a guy downtown yes. on that chains. He said he was attacked by some robbers. I think he needs your help. I just couldn't find him a chain quarter. So he really needed the help? Yes, a good one. Then what is the look of this guy? He's fair in complexion, yes. on that chains, and he's bat battery brutal in the face. Can, can, you, can you just take us there? Yes, yes, officer, let's go. DPO, I was very, very excited when you called my house this morning to inform me that the murder of my daughter was apprehended and that he has some vital information about my missing girl. Fantastic. I did, Chief. Morgan, the suspect, was caught red-handed by my men immediately after he had murdered your daughter. When he was brought in here for interrogation, he confided in the police about the missing gold saga. But the story changed when my men went to arrest his accomplices. The story changed? Changed to what? Uh, well, I can't explain now. Uh, but, uh, we are still investigating. Actually, we are working on an interesting theory. When we are true, I'll get you informed. No. I don't buy that trash. You must explain every detail to me. DPO, my daughter was murdered. I need to speak to the murderer. I need to know why he picked on my daughter. Please, beyond that the girl belongs to me, that girl has some state secret information. I mean, this girl is all my life. Everything I worked for. Well, Chief, there is nothing to hide from you. Morgan has been apprehended. Good. I'm glad I did. Um, I'm not true yet, Chief. Um, the fact is that we actually arrested them, but on their way to the station here, yeah, there was this shooting spree, a blood battle. In the process, I lost some of my men. And in that confusion, I cannot explain how Morgan and his Cohorts escaped. Escaped? Escaped to where? We are doing everything possible to get them back. Deep you, you are absolutely doing nothing. Nothing. Listen, my only daughter, my only child, was murdered. The girl in question have some political underground because this executive governor of my state paid for them. His personal assistant and his men are coming to pick it up a day after tomorrow and you are here telling me some miserable, I mean, nauseating stories. Listen, if you like your job, go ahead. Please yourself. Continue playing hide and seek. 
the head and sick. But you may have some interesting stories to tell to the IG. You won't like my style. By the time I start at you, you will hit my guts. Go ahead. We are doing our best, Chief. Excuse me, spare me all that stupid, miserable best. Watch out. You won't like me when I stand with you. There is no need asking questions. Andy is a wise man. Wherever he takes us to, we'll follow him. Lord, it's me. Oh. Eh, Lord, it's me. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Without food or water. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Enough of that nonsense, Sandra. Get up and let us go. I'm not going. Leave her. Leave her to please herself. Look, if you want, you can go back to the village. Or go back to the city, go back anywhere, and throw yourself back to the police. As for me and your father, we're escaping. <laughs> escape to where? Uh, escape to where? How to go first? Where are you going to? Where are you going to? Sandra, I want to hear no more of this from you. After all, you got me to this mess. Did I? When you met with, with Morgan, I warned you to be careful, but you refused to listen. Claiming you are in love with him. <laughs> Just look at it now. Father, it's okay, it's okay. Please, let's forget about the past and face the future. <laughs> Get off, my friend. Let, let us go. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll take it. I will escape with you to, to somewhere. The place that will be just fine for us, okay? I'm afraid we've lost our way in the forest. Oh. How do you know my son? You see when we are coming, I was overhearing sound of vehicles. Then I was thinking maybe in a short while, we'll just bust into a city or a town or even a small village. But now, I can no longer hear anything. Uh, let's go back now. To where? To how are you coming from? So now we've been trekking, I mean, we've trekked a long distance. I mean, we can't, it's not just possible, we can't find our, our footsteps back to that city. It's not easy. I mean, it's not possible. So, what do you do, my son? But uh, the night is already here. Let's, let's find a way, find something, I mean, find a place and rest our heads. Then I'll be able to think of, think of, Something better. Or something to do. My son. Huh? Father. Do you know how to make fire from stone? I I don't but I will try. Please try before I die of cold. I'm sorry. Huh? But you did that in your movies now. That was in the movies now. We are talking of making a fire from the stone in real life. I 
Alle, close your eyes. <laughs> like we do movies. <laughs> oh, Adi, you're my hero. And I forgot to say, I didn't know I had it in my pocket. Can I help you? Please give me some time. Chief, since I know you, you've been a funny woman. Then. And this will be your last time. The first transaction I had with you was so expensive. But I bought it for you because I needed you. Do you think that you are the only good dealer in this country? No. You are not. I know a couple of others. And if you think that you are not ready to sell your bloody gun, please return my money. No, Your Excellency. It's not, it's not what you think. Honestly, it's not. I wouldn't have made up this story. Listen, sir. It's not only my girl that was stolen. My daughter, my only child, was also murdered. Your daughter? Yes. How? I mean, that's why we need to see on one-on-one, -on -one, Your Excellency, because there is more to it that people are giving interpretation. Honestly. The police have assured me that they are going to apprehend the killers and the one who stole my gold. Honestly. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I'll see you very soon. Then we'll talk about it. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you. <sighs> Hello? Is that a DPO? I'm uh, speaking. Good. Any good news? Oh, yes, Chief. We've arrested your daughter's murderer. And he's here in custody with us. You have? Yes, of course. Any news about my missing gold? Um, he has accepted knowing something about it, but has not opened up yet. We are still interrogating him. I'm sure he will talk. Good. Can I come and meet him tomorrow? Oh, with all pleasure. <laughs> Come anytime. Thank you very much, DPO. Thank you for doing a good job. Oh, Chief, it is our duty uh, to deliver good results to the nation. Good. Bye bye. Chief, Chief. Mm. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> yes. All right, bye bye. Sir, the suspect is insisting on seeing you. Bring him in. Yes, sir. You may leave us now. Yes, sir. 
Ah, Chief. <laughs> you are right on time. Yes. You're welcome. You do all the news. Yeah. This is the culprit. Doctor died in my hands. He had a dream. He wanted money. Someone offered to give us two hundred million if we could get the good for him. That set on some motion, plans to grab it. We have to do this bit by bit. Of course, we are not in a rush. We are not in a hurry. Get yourself intimated with her. Then you can probably. Oh, I love this business. When I met your daughter, it was for her business. Thank you. You taking it back? You know you're a girl. Oh, don't no, take it. Are you taking your bath now? I'll just come with me. Why? Let's go. I'll, I'll do it later. Oh, no, please. Me? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go. Alright, first class, you have to do it. Oh, brother, you look good enough to eat. I know that. Don't worry, before you eat me, the food will be here. Oh, come on. God, I love this place. It's oh. beautiful. None of your boyfriends will be here. <laughs> please. I told you, I don't keep boyfriends. What's so special about this old piece of gold? Please, 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 about it. It's boring. <laughs> no, no, that's funny. I'm interested. Does he make money from this gold? Make money. The old fool doesn't make a dime. He spends money. He spends millions of naira just to protect his, his gold. Protect? How? He pays armed soldiers to secure his gold for him. Can you imagine? One savior came and offered him 500 million naira and the old food wouldn't budge. 500 million? Yes. Maybe, okay. you know, I'm curious. Who's this guy that offers such amount of money? Morgan. Why did he come? Oh, you don't know? I suppose I did. Oh, well, um, no problem since you just want to make a mystery of this man. I'm just curious. Okay. <laughs> No, let's forget about the gold issue. Oh, let's oh. just go swimming. Swimming? Yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> no swimming in the pool, not here. Well, let's say your old man is lukewarm on this gold. What will he do? If you take them, will he miss it? <laughs> of course he'll miss them. Look, this man has been floating over this gold for God knows how long. Despite the fact that someone offered him that kind of money. He loves this gold more than anything in this world. He'll miss them. I shouldn't have harmed her. She had given me the name of the buyer. But she refused. I only threatened her with the gun. She kept fighting me and got a bullet. I regretted that action. If for nothing else, she had the name of the buyer that I wanted. So, there was no reason of killing her. It was a deadly mistake. 
I don't know who has the gold. But the police should try Don Emeka. Don Emeka? If truly the gold is missing. Don Emeka is involved. Uh, well, Chief, we are going on the hills of Don Emeka and we'll get you informed. There is a ghost with us in this forest. Ghost? Yes. Father, I don't believe in ghost. Believe me, I saw it. It came in form of a beast. Believe me, I saw it. Father, I don't understand. It's the seed of your imagination. I mean, it's nothing. It's just an illusion, okay? You call that an illusion? You call that an illusion? Don Mek Holdings? Yes, you're in the right place. You want to have a work with Don Emeka? About what? Business, of course. Oh, business. Come in, come in. Don Emeka is okay. I don't know you. What do you want here? A word with the big dawn. You want to have a word with the big dawn? I'm the big dawn. What do you want? We are men from Mania Police Station. Our DPO wants to have a word with you. About what? About some missing gold. Missing gold? What is this supposed to mean? You will get all the details when you get to the station, sir. Tell your DPO that the dawn is busy. Tell him I will see you tomorrow in his office. It's all right. They said they were on business. Did you try to find out what kind of business? There are many businesses these days, including the police business. Next time you'll find out. I understand. I'm sorry for the embarrassment. It, it won't happen again. You better do it. You never let it happen again.
Mr. DPO, you sent your men to my office yesterday. Yeah. What has some missing gold got to do with my office? A lot, Don. A lot. You remember Michael Andy, a top Nollywood star? I would like you to be precise, officer. I don't have time for watching Nollywood movies. I don't have diary for noting Nollywood movie stars either. So please, can you tell me exactly what is this invitation all about? What about uh, Mitchell Lawal, a Nigerian top gold dealer? You know him? You know my line of business. I'm into clearing and forwarding, not gold and diamonds. So please, like I said earlier, I would like you to be precise. Because I don't have all day. I'm a very busy man. I'm also busy. But sometimes we find time for some important issues. Well, I'm aware you buy goods from people and sell them. Is that right? Exactly. That is what clearing and forwarding is all about. Any kind of goods? Not just any kind of goods. We have our discipline. Yeah, we have our focus. I don't buy gold from people, neither do I sell them. I have not asked you that. Of course I know you've not asked me that, because I know it's your next line of question. How do you know? Your man came to my office yesterday asking for some missing gold. That is how I got to know. Very well. Your words are noted. I will get back to you in due course. My lawyers will be expecting you. Good day, gentlemen. Father, I have a feeling I am going to die. Father, please don't talk like that. You will die. Please. You give me a lot of hope to face this journey. You won't die. Please. I wouldn't like to die. No one welcomes death with a smile of joy. I am very sick. No place to buy drugs in this lonely forest. I am hypertensive. I have been living on drugs for the past five years. Sandra knows it. I cannot make it. Father, please, I understand. I'm not what happen to you, okay? Stand up, let's walk along, okay? Stand up, okay? Ah! Good. Oh. I cannot go any longer. You go with Sandra. I'm old enough. Let me die. You just let me die. No. No, father. I can't. If you die, I'll die. I'll commit suicide. Sandra. No drugs, no life. You 
just forget about me. Uh, just go with him, and they will take care of you for me. Oh, father. Just go. Father, no. No, you. No going further. What if, if, if that creature meets us here? I mean, we'll all die. Okay? Please, I, I won't leave you here. Another will uh, Sandra leave you. Okay? Let's just go, please. Don't bother about me. Yes, Father. Don't bother about me. I think Andy is right. Or oh, what do you think? What of you can go and leave me on here? Good. My partner's in Germany. Supposed to free their possession by now. And she, they are still waiting for the raw material today. When am I going to get my gold? Your Excellency, I know how you feel. I know, honestly. And I am doing everything humanly possible to make sure that this thing gets to you. I and the police, we are working out something. What? Uh, it may interest you to know that during my own private investigation, I discovered that when that boy in the cell mentioned that name, Dolan Mecca, he did not ring any bell to me. But still, I sent my men to trail him. They trailed him step by step, and just yesterday, we, we broke even. We discovered that Don Emeka is working for that useless son of a bitch, Chief Alex. Honestly. That rook. That robbed me out of Sailor Diamond. Now the good. But again. I will let him know that I'm the king of the underworld. And also, Your Excellency, there's something I also want to let you know. Um, I have discovered that the police alone cannot cry down to Felix. Neither can I do it alone. And I, I need something from you, please. What? Name it. Um, I, I need your support and backing. Okay. Thank you, Excellency. I discovered that I was being followed. You mean you were being trailed? Yes, Chief. Come on, Emeka. Why must you allow that to happen? And by the way, who are the, the people behind this? Well, I discovered that the men are actually working for Michelle in a while. So I, I got my men to go after them. They caught up with one of the trailers. So the first words out of his stomach. He confessed that he was working for Michelle Lawa. Well, if, if it's about Lawa, you know, you don't have to worry about that. He's a little funny guy. I know how to take care of him. I can handle him. Right, Chief. I also got to know that um, Lawal is very worried about his missing gold. So he's keen on bent on trying to recover back the gold. So I don't know why. I think it's time we silence him, Chief, or persuade him to stop and forget about it. No? 
No, on the contrary, no, we won't do that. We won't do that. And let me warn you, the next time the police invites you for questioning, please, don't you ever honor it. All right? All right, you know. As for Lawal and his pranks, if you think you can be smart, I don't have the kajin. I can do that. All right, you know. What about Michael Andy, the movie star? Has he been alienated? Michael Andy? Yes, dear. Mm, there has been a little omission somewhere. Um, the boys did not rise up to the occasion. They couldn't take him out in the last operation. They allowed him to escape into the nearby bush. And this is causing a problem for me. However, my boys have implanted all over the place. We have laid a siege on him. The moment he reemerges, rest assured, he picked up and decisively dealt with. All right, Chief. Um, I think the boys have to act so fast on that because he's the only one that's got the truth about this whole missing goal. So the earlier he's been alienated, the better. The case will die naturally. I like, I like, I like that choice of language. We have to do that. I totally agree with your opinion. All right? All right. So, once again, you go about doing your job. You can see you're really working hard. Right? I will reward you at the end of the day. All right. <laughs>
Doyle. That was a narrow escape. I was wondering. What's up, our father? No, not here. What? What if we could ever get out of this forest alive? Alex, yeah, it's me now. Alex, there's no point fighting you. You know what I want. Return it to me and we won't fight. Say promise. <laughs> what exactly do you want from me, Lawa? <laughs> Alex, return my gold to me. I am ready to pay you back the money you spent in buying it. And you won't lose. It's a promise. I still don't understand what they're talking about. Oh, Alex, you damn well know what I'm talking about. Listen, I won't force you, but you can send somebody to return it if you are not feeling comfortable about it. You send somebody else to do it. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't have to harass me or threaten me, okay, because those who did it in the past paid very dearly with flowers. I wrote you a letter for a deal which you rebuffed. And now you're talking the hell about stolen gold or what I talk, whatever you're talking about. Oh, Alex. The trouble is this. I agreed that you wrote me a letter. But before the arrival of your letter, the one of my executive governor had already arrived. Alex, if you were in my position, which one will you honor first? Listen, let me remind you, and this a very serious promise. The gold that is with you belongs to the governor because he has paid for it and that guy is ruthless. Any moment from now, he will come after you big and you can't escape it, Alex. My friend is only a lousy man that threatens his fellow man on the phone. You know. Why don't you arrange for a meeting if you're that sincere and let's talk this matter uh, face to face. Alex, Alex, you are playing with fire. Nonsense. <laughs> Alex, you don't know what you are doing, but you will not like the style of what will befall you. my time to dance and I will dance big past that. <laughs> Minutes. Oh, this place of human I 
my God, not just save us from this forest. Say, I don't know. What is it again? Did you see something? No. No, what is it, Andy? I heard voices. Voices? Human beings? It's a lie. We are the only human beings in this forest now. Or maybe they are ghosts or something. Don't be afraid, okay? Just, just spend them. Let me check out I don't think so. I think they are women. Let's approach them. Load your gun first. It's already loaded. Look at it, I have more bullets. Me or you? <laughs> Ever you seen an antler challenge a lion to a duel in the jungle where the lion is king? Ever you? I'm not interested in your miserable, stupid proverbs. I see. Listen, it may interest you to know that I have the backings of the state government, so you have to play along this time. I call the shops now. And so where's the evidence? And who is the witness that stands for you? If you have conscience, let your conscience do the talking. At this time, you do my bidding. Of course I won't. I will not. If you don't mind, you can take a leap into the nearest lake and get drowned. It's none of my business. And if the governor wants to pick up a quarrel with me, let me go ahead. He has all, all the paraphernalia of office. He has power, he has it. I have the city. I have the city. <laughs> Interesting. A butterfly calling himself a bird. Don't forget he has the power. Legalistic power? Yes, I agree. But I have the authority of the city right here in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you amuse me. Anyway, let me give you a very soft landing so that you won't get hurt. Supposing the governor wants to give you, you know, a carrot. Amicable settlement. I mean, he wants to be your friend, want to buy back the gold. I mean, I know you will like something like that. Why don't you for once try and be magnanimous with yourself? Try it out. You see how good it is. By telling him the truth. You know what the, what the truth is. <laughs> and what is the truth? The truth is that I, Chief Alex, don't know anything about the goddamn bloody gold you talk about. Good day. Sly, very sly, bastard. By the time I finish with you, we will know who owns this city. Bastard. Sandra, we are very sorry about your dad. It's really sad. It just appears each and every one of us has a sad story to tell. That makes us. We'll make a big family together. You, you just speak good English. I mean, it appears you're a little bit enlightened. But how would you come from a local community? I mean, a community that still sacrifices its innocent young girls to the evil forest. This, this, this modern age and our king read abroad. Yes, London. London. If so, so why is it still fetish? The last time I heard about tomorrow's sacrifices was in the book. Yeah. Um, yes, African Tales. The king did not buy the idea at first. In fact, when seven of us were about to be taken away, the king wept, but he was helpless. The wicked chief priest wouldn't listen to anything 
accept the sacrifices. He claimed it was an age-long traditional ritual. Don't want every century to save the community. You said there were seven of you. Yes. So what happened to the remaining five? The creature. The same creature that killed your father. Oh my God. These creatures are not ordinary. They have, from what I've heard about this forest when I was a little child, they have lived here for over a thousand years ago. Feeding on ritualistic traditions of our land. They are demonic creatures, worshipped in those days by our ancestors. They just mob into lions when they want some human food. <laughs> so how are we going to get out of here? Out of here? If there had been any way, we would have done it before you met us here. But, Kumu, these um, lions or creatures, I mean, why and how did they preserve you people's lives? The same way they preserve both of you. No, they didn't preserve our lives. We only struggled. We ran away, and sometimes we fought them with our guns. Um, if they had their way, they'd have eaten us a long time ago. Well, in our own case, we don't fight them. We only master the way of chasing them back to the cave. How? Huh? I'll tell you later. Go hungry. Let's eat this together, then we'll talk. What is that? Yes. What kind of fruit Bread. is this? Breadfruits. Breadfruits? Yes. Yeah. Fun in the bush? Yes. Yeah. My men gained entrance into Chief Alex's residence last night. And they searched everywhere. They couldn't find anything about the old man. I knew they wouldn't. I knew it. Then why did His Excellency give his order? <laughs> the guy is just being desperate, honestly. He's being desperate. I knew Chief Ellis couldn't have been so stupid to have kept that gold in his residence. That guy is a sly guy. Then where will he keep them? He's not in any bank vault. <laughs> he couldn't have kept it in any bank vault either. Listen, if we want to get this gold, we have to take it easy with him. Take it easy. Then how easy? A lot. We have to have evidence and uh, change our manners of approach. Anything short of this, Alex won't play ball. I think it's high time I go back to the local station because the guy in detention had told me so much about this robbery. And I know he will sing more if I go back there. I think that should be my approach now. If that will work, then there is no way. I don't want to take chances. Alex is a bastard. I hate him. I hate that guy with a passion. Oh, God. How long shall we continue to live like this, eh? In hunger and fear. Let's continue with the search, please. What search? The search of getting out of this evil forest. Oh, but we've been searching now, eh? Should we continue to search for a way out of this place all our lives are alive, eh? Me, I'm tired, though. I'm tired. Ah. So what do you suggest? That we should stay here and have fun, right? It's not a bad suggestion. A bloody animal. You and your companion can stay here forever for all I care. After all, that was why we were brought here, right? Andy and I are living here right now. Sandra! Don't talk like that. Huh? Don't talk to your fellow guests like that. Spare me. Yeah. See? All of us will get out of this evil forest together, okay? Yeah. Ladies, let's go. Alright, don't kiss them around, huh? <laughs> Let me be in front. Okay. Just show me the work, yeah? Let's go. Yeah. Only one person that has the evidence of what he wants. And who is that person? I won't tell you until you promise to free me. You remember you killed my only child, my daughter? It was an accident. She came fighting a man with a loaded gun. 
She got the opportunity, she would have killed me. That is not the question. The question is, who is this guy that has the evidence? I told you that because of telling you my story. What else do you want? Say it again. I can't remember his name. And if I free you, will you remember his name? The poor Mrs. Jenny will try to remember. Hmm. I will free you on one condition. You say it. I will give you a second chance in life if I can find my gold. Dear. I take your words, Chief. I'm happy that you're a great man. Good. The person you're talking about is Michael Andy, the top movie star. The top movie star? Why? Yes. Remember the two farmers that we are approaching you for some gold discovery? At the time Andy was calling your phone too. Yes, yes. Those two farmers are not farmers. They are professional deep. My God. Remember your daughter gave me the information about the diary. And he was calling you on phone together. Maybe they will use that opportunity to get the diary and penetrate through the gold. And when they get the gold, Andy will sell it to Donameka, who offered them the money. The police get Andy to talk to Donameka, he won't be able to deny it. He's the only person that can deliver this. Deep you. Yeah. Did you hear him? Yes, of course. Mm. Sergeant. Sir. Take him back. Chief, I thought you promised to free me. Do you know the gravity of the offense you've committed? Mother, only the court can decide your fate. I said it was an accident. Take him away. Nobody's going to take me to the cleaners. What's the problem? I'm so supposed to be there. Do you have your gun with you? Yes, I have it. Oh, my God. 
You can come and sleep here. I mean, don't have to be afraid of anything, okay? Sleep here while I keep awake. No, I'll keep awake too. If that suits you, that's no problem. And, Andy, hmm? do you know you are handsome as a prince of our community? Thank you. Do you know his wife is married with me? Hmm. Lucky. Do people get lucky when they sleep with me? Ah, I think so. I think so, yeah. Then you could be lucky this night because I fall in love with you and I'm still a virgin. But I've not slept with you yet. Huh? Anzi. Yeah, Erika. Will you marry that now if we ever get out of here alive? Mm -hmm. Sandra? Yes. Oh. oh, no, 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 Erika. Sandra is not a mark, please, okay? But she abused me. I hate her. Rika, please don't hate Sandra. Sandra is not a bad girl, okay? She's not a bad person. I mean, she's so nice to me. Huh? Then will you marry her? We've not discussed that yet. And We've not discussed that either. Have we? Then let's discuss it now, can we? Erika, we'll leave you to tomorrow morning, okay? Lie down. It's late. Huh? Lie down, maybe keep awake. You know what to say that the forest is so dangerous. I'm scared of the lion. Okay? This is wild forest. So lie down, let me keep awake. I have my phone with me. I mean, it's not better I call the police in the city and turn myself in. That way they may come and rescue us. Um, I think that's a better idea. Instead of staying in this forest and dying. Why did you think of that before now? I'm sure that the city people over there might help us with their new scientific ways of handling things over there in the city. I don't think that will work. Ah, oh, the police will never find us here and you know it, eh? Okay, come to think of it. Do they have the map of this forest or do you want to give it to them through the phone? Eh? <laughs> you will describe it to them, dummy. What's that? What did she say? I called you a dummy. Meaning what? <laughs> a dummy is a person who has stayed in the forest for a very long time and doesn't know how to relate with human beings. So a dummy. Well, as far as you are here, Sandra, you are as well a dummy. Sandra! Look, you and Erika. You have to stop all this your small small quarters. All this your usual quarters. You have to stop it. Otherwise, I'll deal with you people. Please. I don't even know what you are fighting over. No. See, Sandra. She's too jealous of my beauty. And I know it. I saw it the first day we met. <laughs> look at this one. No, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Let me look at you very well. You think you're beautiful. Take a very good look at me. Gay bush rat. Court. See, 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 see. I will lay up. I know you girls here in this forest and go. What is wrong with you? I'm moving. Is that police emergency desk? Yeah, please. My name is Pakalandi, a top movie star. 
Yes, please, I need your help. I lost my way into one evil forest. Near one community called Rubochi. Rubochi? Ever, ever heard of it? It's the community in the middle north where virgin sacrifice still takes place. Rubochi is my hometown. The problem is that uh, there are so many evil forests in that community, like the forest of the, of, of, of the dangerous... Forest of the evil lions. Please, I need your help. Please. Well, it's dangerous though, but we'll do our best. Uh, please come, please come, please. Please come and save us. We are lost here. Please, thank you very much. Please, we are waiting, please. All right. Bye. <sighs> what did they say? They said they will be coming. What should we do now? Sas, please, can you show us the footpath that leads to Magata Forest? Magata Forest? Yes. <laughs> Are you one of those stories that come from the city to commit suicide in Magata Forest? I can't understand you. My brother, some city tourists come from the city to Magata Forest to commit suicide. And when we tell them the truth, they call us fetish people. But you can go into the Magata Forest and become pretty to the white beast. Come! You see, we are not city tourists. We are policemen from the city. We have a reliable information that a police suspect is hiding inside the Maganta forest. And we want to get him arrested. <laughs> get him arrested? <laughs> so what's so funny about it? You see, my brother, you amuse me. Because no human being goes into the Maganta forest and comes back alive. Check our history. And besides, whatever suspect has stumbled into that forest must have been dead by now. So you just take my advice and go back to the city. Just show us the footpath that leads to the Maganta Forest. You see, we are all well armed and we can take good care of ourselves. My brother, don't be deceived by those guns. Those beasts in that forest, they are not ordinary creatures. They are spirits. But if you still want to know, I can show you the way. If you go straight, the first turning by the left, that's the way to Maganta Forest. But one thing I didn't want you, some people like you have done that in the past and no, none of them came back. Right. How can you say living souls in this kind of forest? I don't believe them. Whether you people believe them or not, I am getting out of here. Let's go!
Good day, sir. Where is the suspect? Sir, we got to the community and we searched through all the forests, but we didn't see a sign of life there. So, so. Are you sure you got there? So we got it and we searched and searched and searched. You should have been more patient in your search. Do you know how important the suspect is to the missing gold investigation? You must have to go back. Go get the man and off you go. Yes, sir. Go now. Yes, sir. One more thing, sir. What? Sir, you see there are many forests in that community. So? And then since it is your place of birth, don't you think that you are the right person to lead the team for a successful search? Don't you think so, sir? I think you have a point there. Well, the evil forest of the lion is dangerous. Well, well do that as it may end. <laughs> okay, okay. You go get the man, and I'll personally leave the team. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thought you would have rested a little longer. It's so bad for someone to stay in a place like this. I'm out of medical care. I know you'll be fine very soon. Andy was rather worried about your health. Where is he? Where is Erica? Oh, they all went together for his true. He insisted that I should stay here with you. Mm. Well, Andy's a very nice person. Yeah. I don't know what I've done without him. I love him very much. I know he truly loves you too. I hope you guys are planning to get married someday. Very soon, as soon as we leave this place, we'll get married. Come, let's go with us. You see, First day I set my eyes on you, I fell in love with you. You're my shining armor. I love you so much, with all my heart, and I don't want to lose you to anyone. Keep away your emotions. Hmm? You know, Sandra, Sandra is my girl. Okay, so don't think about it. Hmm? Andy? Sorry. Erica, what's happening here? Sandra, we're just talking. Do you understand? We're just talking. What did you tell me? No. Nothing, I know nothing about nothing at all. Nothing. I mean, we're just talking and we're discussing. Shut up! Shut up! I trusted you. I gave you my love. I gave you my affection. How could you? Oh, my God. I found you a bloody betrayal. Because of you, I left Morgan. And what did you do? You betrayed me? Is this why you told me in the city? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How could you? How could you? I... I, I... Uh, excuse me, Sandra. No, I'm not. For Christ's sake, I'm not. We're just talking. We're just discussing. Every day is a friend. Shut here? up, my friend. Shut up, Bushrod. I, I, I am Sandra, please. See, my state of mind does not call for such emotion. Okay? You think I'll snatch my boyfriend away from me? You have to meet me first. Look at her. Idiot. <laughs>
Yes, I think it's a gunshot. Maybe it's the police. It's possible. After all, we'll call the police. Mm -hmm. hey, in that case, you should be walking towards the gunshot. Oh, don't be calling me again. Shut up, this girl. See here when Ali said his credit finished after the first call. Where's the witch girl? <laughs> That's what you are. Well, it's better than being a bush rat that you are. What is your problem? Can hey, you imagine this girl? Uh, 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 Sarah and Erika, please. Please, I beg you, put the number of Keep your mouth shut and let's go. Let's, let's, let's this one. She called me a bush rat. Oh, oh. Yourself, sir, and the other man, sir. Follow this direction. Yes, sir. sir. That is what we should have done, sir. It just occurred to me. Hello, Michael Andy. Hello, this is Michael Andy speaking. Uh, we are in the forest now. How do we locate you? Yeah, I heard it go short, then I knew that, yes, you really must be very, very close. Uh, very well, we shall keep firing the, the gunshots at intervals. Locate the sound and come towards it, okay? Oh, that's okay. But people should at the same time call to, at least that will help, help, help solve a little problem. That's all right, we'll do that.
Wait a minute. I can hear voices. Yes, I can hear voices too. The please. Ah, don't ask. No one knows yet. I did not ask you, Sandra. And so, please mind your business. Shut up. Yes. Oh, please. Yes, I can't stand up. Please. For conspiracy and theft, you have the right to remain silent, but whatever you shall say may be used against you in the law court. But the baby was that called you. How? I'm Sandra, I'm I'm superintendent. Let's go. Cough them. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> eliminated before now. The man that you put to do the job messed things up for us. Yes. And I think they should all be sacked or even silenced. It's an hippie. Yeah. Now they have to make us to dance to the music of the No! I will never do that. That's all my dead body. I will dance to my own music. Well, Chief, I'm afraid. You have to play along. Because right now, Lawal has the only music in town. Yeah. And we all have to dance to the tune of his music. If we have to continue in this business, this goddamn city. I don't seem to understand where you're coming from, Emeka. Well, he has made me an interesting proposal. Yeah. The money that I paid to Michael Andy was not spent. Yeah. The police discovered the cash. So. Lawal is willing to return every dime back to me for the gold. Yeah, he promised peace and no more corruptions. Jesus, I think we should return the gold and have peace. In your candid opinion, do you think we should accept such a proposal? Yes, we have to. Because they got the evidence. Yeah, I didn't know. How am I supposed to know that? There's a camera on his body. So everything was recorded. And he has everything on tape. Now the police has caught up with him. Even now, men. Yes, my men and your men cannot reach him because the security is so tight. I think I think. Chief, I think. Let me ask one pertinent question. What happened to our, our Russian client who had before had paid for this, this particular good we're talking about? The Russian? Yes. Well, when it happens, I don't know, but I'll think of something. If he comes, we're going to find a way to handle him. Yeah, we're going to find a way to handle him. If he comes, I will be a problem. Let's just switch out the gold and be at peace. This whole thing is becoming more chaotic. And I don't like it. How are the mighty fallen? So all my head in ruins now.
So can I have the money now? Set the gold. Jimmy, they say he who fights and run away lives to fight another day. Not this one. Drop your gun, Jimmy. Drop your gun. Jimmy, drop the gun. Do you want to join your forefathers in hell? You will be in paradise if you drop the gun.
know what to I'll see you again. Yeah. Look lovely hair. This way. <laughs> oh.